Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a birthday haul. So I did one of these last year and I've actually taken it off my video because I think the video is super embarrassing. But yeah, so it was my birthday on the 8th of September, so Tuesday just gone and I turned 19. So that was really exciting and for my birthday I didn't really ask for much. Um, I got a few product products. I got a few things from family and friends, and the rest of the stuff I bought myself. Get straight started. So I'm going to start off with the non makeup items. There are only a few non makeup items, and then everything else is makeup. So the first non makeup item is this blender. So I got I asked for a blender for my birthday, and I got one um so this is the Wilco with it and go blender um i'll show you guys what it looks like so it's one of those fancy blenders which have like are in the shape of a bottle so you can actually after you finish blending it you can actually take it with you and i really wanted one in this shape next i also got this pencil case because i am now back at college um i got this pencil case it's really cute with a little dog on it. Can you see that? And I just got some pens. Black pens because I love black pens. I hate using any other coloured pens. If they're not black, I'm not using it. And then I also got some Stabilo highlighters. And you can never have enough highlighters. They're just great for revising. Then I also got a cute little jewelry piece <laughs> um so yeah i got a ring and um, i've been after one of these kinds of rings for ages i'll show you guys what it looks like in the box can you see that it's like a it's a sterling silver uh ring and um it's got like a white pearl on it sorry excuse my nails i'm gonna just hide them because they look awful but can you guys see what that looks like I've been after one of these kind of rings for the longest time ever. On to beauty things. So these are beauty but non-makeup items. So I got this beautiful package from Lush. Yeah, I'm going to open this on camera. So this is what the interior looks like. And the first item I got. So you get a little booklet in there. The first item I got is the Olive 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 branch shower gel so it's just a shower gel can you see it's like two colors i don't know if you can see that but it's like two colors and this oh it smells so good i also got the rose argan body conditioner so it just looks like that And on the inside, it just looks like that. And I also got the Rub 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 Shower Scrub. And this smells amazing. It smells so refreshing. Like, I can, when I smell this, I feel like I'm in the seaside or I'm in some, like, tropical location and... I just want to eat it and this is what it looks like on the inside it's just a blue color and it's a body scrub then finally I got this soap oh and this this smells like lush when I walk into lush I literally smell this so thank you so much for whoever got me this you know who you are but thank you so much I absolutely love these products and I cannot wait to use them so on to non lush body products I got the Beautycology gingerbread sparkling body wash just looks like that I got the Bayless Harding Bayless and Harding England limited edition Jojobus silk and almond oil cleansing soap and it just looks like that it's a cleansing soap and this is what it looks like on the inside it's just a white soap and it doesn't have any smell then i got the babyliss and harding england moroccan rose bath cream then i got the 
Jojoba and Almond Balancing Body Wash. It's like a shower gel. Finally, I got the Indulging Moisturising Body Lotion, which looks like that. So, I'm not going to be running out of shower gel or body lotions anytime soon. And I also got a mini young candle in the colour Sugar, Sugar? In the colour? In the flavour? In the scent, scent, in the scent, sugar apple and literally I've had this in my room for about two days and my whole room smells like this. It smells absolutely amazing, it smells like Christmas. If I had one smell for Christmas this would be it. Then from another friend I got some nail polishes, I got two OPI nail polishes, 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 I got these OPI nail nail lacquers and this is in the colour colour to diner for colour to diner for that's what the colour is called and that's what it looks like in the bottle I also got this breast cancer awareness one in the colour more than a glimmer and it's like a glittery colour it's like a pinky glittery colour on to the bulk of this birthday haul which is all the makeup items I have bought and also received. I work for Benefit Cosmetics so a lot of my products that I have got here from Benefit I received so they were freebies which is so kind of them to do this but it wasn't for my birthday it was my allocation. Anyway all my makeup is in this box. Can you see how full I'm going to try to show you. Can you see how full this box is? Literally to the top. It is packed full of makeup. So I got three foundations. I got the first foundation I got is the Be Even Oil Control Foundation. I have bought this before, but I decided to repurchase it because at the time this was half price. So it was normally about £10, but it was on half price for so £5. 49 and the colour I got before was 080. This time I got 070, which may look a bit light for me, but this foundation oxidizes like no other, so I had to get a um had to get a lighter colour. And I got the famous Revlon Colourstay Foundation. I have heard so much about this and I'm actually going to do a comparison with the Essay Larder. I'm going to be filming that video straight after this one. But I love this foundation. If you want to find out what I think about it, then I will talk about the foundation more in that video. Then the final foundation I got was this, um, was this Rimmel. Can you see that? Was this Rimmel Match Perfection Invisible Coverage Foundation. And I have done a whole review on this foundation telling you guys what I think about it and the demo as well. So I will link that down in the description if you want to find out what I think about this. This is the first removal foundation for dark skin. <clears throat> it comes with a pump and and I really really like this. Continuing on with Rimmel, I also got the Rimmel London... 60 second super shine nail polish and it's just in this color here it's like a dark burgundy browny color then i also got the i also got the rimmel london 60 second super shine nail polish in the color berries and cream which is like a deep berry color and finally from rimmel actually no not from rimmel from naturals collection i got the lip liner in the colour Espresso, which is just a brownie colour. Then, I think the final drugstore product which I have got is this 17 Instant Glow Shimmer Brick Wash Off. So, that is what it looks like. It is so, so nice. And I'm just going to swatch this. So, can you see that? Uh, can you see the pigmentation on that? So on to all the high-end makeup. So the first two items are these two Buxom full-on lip glosses and the packaging just looks like that. And this is what the colours look like. I got them in the colours Debbie 
and Dolly. Then onto the products I got from Benefit Cosmetics. I have got a lot of products from Benefit Cosmetics. So the first thing I got was this Pro Long Wear. No, no, this, sorry, this Long Wear Powder Eyeshadow. And don't you just love the packaging? No, all my nail polishes, I, my nail polish, or my lack of nail polish. I am so sorry. Um, but yeah, it's in the colour It's Complicated, which is just... It looks very rosy in the pan, but actually when you swatch it, it's very gold. Then from Benefit again, I look at this packaging. Just look at this packaging. It just gives me life. Like, I'm sorry, but Benefit hands down do the best packaging. It looks like it should be like on a medicine cabinet or something or somewhere fancy. So yeah, it's just an eye cream and it's called the It's Potent. Then I also got the Ultra Plush Lip Gloss. Show you guys what it looks like. Can you see that? It's like a bright pink colour. And I absolutely love the smell of these lip glosses. They're very vanilla -y, very sweet. I really like them. I got two mascaras from Benefit. I got the They're Real. I and a mascara which I actually haven't tried, but a lot of people love this. And some people actually like this better than the, um, the Benefit one. This is the Roller Lash, and that's what it looks like. Don't you just love the packaging? Then I got the Benny Balm, which is a lip balm. I always, always use this, and I thought, I'm going to get myself one of these, so um, I picked up one of these. This is what the box looks like. It's such a cute box. Ugh. And then this is the packaging. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's just so feminine. I love it. Um, so yeah, this is the packaging of the Benny Balm. Isn't that just gorgeous? Like, like oh my gosh. Look how gorgeous this packaging is. And it looks very, very bright in the tube. Actually, when you put it on, like, I'll just swatch it there. Can you see it's quite sheer? Highlighters. I picked up two from Benefit. I got the What's Up highlighter it's a soft focus highlighter for the face looks like then i also got the girl meets pearl which i actually this is like my favorite highlighter favorite liquid highlighter ever and that is what it looks like and you kind of just turn the bottom bit here and the product comes off at the top. Then I also got the Hello Flawless Powder. In the colour Nutmeg. And that's what Nutmeg looks like. And I kid you not guys, and I'm not even exaggerating, and I know it says Hello Flawless. But whenever I put this powder on, I literally look flawless then i got two blushes these are the two the last two benefit products i got i got the rocketer blusher then i got the dallas blusher the last few products are all from mac i really wanted to treat me i really wanted to treat myself to a few mac things and there's a few things which i was wanting to repurchase our things that I'd always wanted but could never bring myself to buy it so yeah um, the first thing I got was this Pro Longwear Concealer and if you guys didn't know this is like my holy grail concealer I absolutely love this and I got two MAC lipsticks First one is in the colour, these are both from the new matte collection. I got the colour Antique Velvet which is a dark brown. It is so gorgeous. And then I got the um, Famous Whirl. This is literally being sold out everywhere and I actually went in there and asked the woman and she was like, no, we've sold out. And then she was like, hang on a minute, I'll have a look in our drawers. She looked and there was one left and I was like, it's meant to be. It's like a deep pinky brownie colour. I'm sorry if my camera just cut off then. Um, literally my camera ran out of battery and then I had to restart again. So yeah. What was I saying? 
yep so i bought this beautiful gorgeous amazing palette from mac so i got this mac 15 pan warm neutrals palette it is just 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 look how beautiful this palette is this is what the eyeshadow colors actually look like they're very warm colors and the only color which i actually have in this palette is ambering amber lights but mine is actually i've hit pan on mine so i'm actually glad i've got another one so yeah still can't believe i spent this much money on a makeup product and this is hands down my most expensive makeup product ever so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for being around and sticking around to see another birthday of mine this birthday was absolutely amazing thank you to anyone who wishes me a happy birthday or who has wished me a happy birthday thank you so much please subscribe comment and rate and i will catch you guys in my next video Bye.